Do you know what I don't understand? Your father worked so hard for you. He took care of the family. He made sure that your brothers and sisters and your mother had a place to stay and food to eat. He stayed very busy trying to take care of you all. Guess what? You are not really paying attention to that. But what, but what you pay attention to, you may say or think to yourself, well, my father wasn't in my life always. He didn't say I love you every day. He did not validate me so much. He was not in my life as much as my mother. Listen to what I am saying. If your father lived with you and your mother and your brothers and sisters, if he was always going to work and very busy, how much time do you think he really has? How much time does he really have for himself? Can he be in your life as much as your mother? Chances are your mother did not work. Your mother stayed at home, not working to take care of you all. In a way, your mother, your father can't be really your mother. Your father is not Superman. As if he can have so much energy after work to do a lot of the things your mother did for you all. Like he is working. How can he be like a very, very loving person in your life so much when he is working? If you work now, you may know, depending on, I guess, the type of job you have. If you are working, you may know how tiring it is. If you are super, super tired, like how much love can you really show? You are tired. Does it mean your father doesn't love you because he didn't show you as much love as your mother? It doesn't mean that. Your, pro your father probably did love you. You can't judge it based upon how much time your father spent with you. Your father was a provider and probably a very good one at that. If your mother was not working, of course your mother will have more time to spend with you than your father. It would not be wise to show hate to your father because he was not in your life so much. Like appreciate what he did for you. And you may say, well, that is a father's job to provide, but I wanted my father to do more. Are you listening to yourself? Like, aren't you being selfish? Okay, would you rather had your father not to work like your mother, stay home with you, show you love and attention, while you all go hungry, while you guys don't have a place to stay, like y'all are out on the street, no eating, like uh, no PlayStation 3 or 4 or 2 or whatever you had back then, like half nothing at all, but him being there showing you love, would you want things to be that way? Chances are no. You wanted the PlayStation. You wanted the Xbox. You wanted the Barbies. You wanted uh, a place to stay. You wanted the steaks and the salad and the ham hocks and uh, uh, dressing and stuff like that. You wanted those things. So you need to show your father appreciation. Yes, maybe he was not in your life always. Maybe he did not show up uh, to your prom or uh, maybe he did not take you to the park uh, or take you to the beach much to build sand castles and stuff like that. Maybe he was not there to 
teach you how to ride your bike and stuff like that. But look at what he did do. Don't discount what he did do because he didn't do some important important things you wish he had done for you. Be appreciative. Perhaps you need to stop complaining so much about it and show him love and appreciation. He is probably old now. Maybe he is, maybe he cannot work now. This is a good time to show appreciation to him. Like, hey, dad, I thank you for working for all of us. I thank you for hurting your body, trying to provide for us. I thank you for all that you have done because if you didn't do it, it probably would not have been done as good as you. Father, be appreciative to him. Let me stop here though. May God bless us.